What is up guys? How are you doing? This is Rob of Rule of Two Review. Welcome back to the channel and today is the greatest, greatest, greatest day in gaming for me since Metroid Dread was revealed over one year ago because Silent Hill, yes, Silent Hill, a franchise we thought was dead and buried forever, has finally, after years of speculation and theories and rumors, made a humongous, glorious return. So something most of you guys probably don't even know about me, because it really has never had a reason to come up on this channel in my time doing YouTube, is that I am a humongous, humongous, massive fan of the Silent Hill franchise. It is without question in my top 10 all-time video game franchises. I love it that much because I'm a huge fan of the horror genre of movies and TV shows and of video games. And so naturally that means, you know, two of my top 10 video game franchises are horror games, which of course is Resident Evil and Silent Hill. And a couple of days ago out of nowhere, Konami announced that they were gonna be holding what they're calling a Silent Hill transmission today on Wednesday, October 19th, and it was like music to my ears. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Obviously, I was nervous that this was going to be more of Konami on their bullshit, talking about pinball machines and bread-making companies and pachinko machines and probably a Silent Hill, you know, NFT mobile app or something terrible. Of course, I was worried about that because Konami has been stupid for like a decade at this point and definitely since PT fell apart several years ago with Hideo Kojima. We all know that story because PT was going to be the greatest thing. Silent Hills with my main man, Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead. That was going to be the greatest gift to gaming almost ever, right? And it fell apart partly because Konami has just been stupid. And so I was very nervous about this Silent Hill transmission, but I'll be real with you. I was really just more excited because something about this told me this was the real deal. This was announced and handled in such a way that told me you know what? I think this is the real Konami coming back to give us real content of a real gaming series. And of all of their great gaming series that they own, like Castlevania and Contra and Metal Gear, Silent Hill is my personal favorite of all of them. And the fact that the first time they were choosing to come back with a real video game presentation and solid news about a franchise, the fact that they were choosing my favorite of them all, Silent Hill, just had me so excited. And I am so pleased to report that they did not disappoint. They blew us away. They just gave us a deluge of Silent Hill games and content and a freaking movie coming out. It's unbelievable. So clearly I have my fanboy hat on right now, you guys, because I, I just really love Silent Hill that much. And the prospect of new quality Silent Hill concept, content after so, so long. And again, after the tragedy that was PT falling apart, um, it's so exciting. You, I just, I almost can't even describe it. I just love the atmosphere and the ambience and the soundscape and music and sound effects and incredible stories and the world of Silent Hill, the way the town of Silent Hill kind of acts as its own sort of, you know, sentient character within the franchise, especially the good games, right? It's just, it's so, it's so fantastic. And so having this thing turn out to be an actually quality presentation says a few things. One, it says Silent Hill is actually back, which is most important to me. Two, it shows just how much content they're giving this one franchise across video games and also a movie. And lastly, the fact that Konami of all companies is pulling their head out of their ass, or so it seems, and actually trying to make themselves relevant in the gaming space again. It's like, I don't know, they've come out of this weird brain fog, no fun in, pun intended with the fog joke. They're coming out of this weird, like, decade-long brain fog and, and are like, oh yeah, maybe if we just make good video games again, uh, we'll make more money and people will like us again. Like, duh, we've all known this for the last 10 years and through the whole PT scenario. And so, you know what, no matter how long it took, no matter how stupid they've been for a while, what they showed us today with so many Silent Hill games and this exciting new movie, it's just wonderful, and I'm over the moon if you can't tell. So let's quickly talk about the great things that they did discuss today. The first is, as people had thought, Silent Hill 2, easily the best game in the franchise, and to many people one of the best games ever made, is officially getting a remake. It's coming to PlayStation 5 only on console, and then it will also be coming to PC eventually. This is so cool. I mean, it's Silent Hill 2, it's a remake. I like to believe that 
they they were probably partly inspired by the success Capcom has had with Resident Evil by constantly remaking their Resident Evil games. They've done it with Resident Evils 1, 2, and 3, and we know Resident Evil 4 is coming up soon. They also used that same sort of uh, business model to make Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 8, and we're probably going to get Resident Evil 9, and I think that Konami was maybe inspired by um, the success Capcom has had with Resident Evil. And I think that's great. Whatever convinced Konami to be stop being stupid and bring Silent Hill back and to remake Silent Hill 2 like we wanted is wonderful news. And I, I made a, a tweet about this. It's, it's worth noting that uh, uh, Konami did remake the first Silent Hill back in 2009 on the Nintendo Wii with Shattered Memories. And it did also come to the PS2 and the PSP, I believe, eventually as well. Uh, but it shined a as a Wii game using the Wii Remote. And that's one of my favorite games of all time and my second favorite Silent Hill game. So they remade or reimagined the first one a long time ago, and now they're back remaking Silent Hill 2 with Bloober Team. And I know that some people are down on Bloober Team because their Metacritic scores for their games are average. You know, they average like in the 70s. Um, I played parts of the medium, and I mostly liked what I played. Uh, I, I didn't love the whole dual screen mechanic when she went into like two mo two planes of existence at the same time. But that wasn't so much a sign of them being a bad developer. That was just a concept that didn't gel with me. But everything else, the graphics, the controls, the gameplay, the story was all great and very high quality. And then the Blair Witch game they made a few years ago, I thought was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. It's not like mind-blowing. It's a very short game. But it was great. And so... All this, the footage they showed today was clearly like CG movie stuff. I don't think there was any actual gameplay, but it showed me that they're going to do a great job. They're being very faithful to the source material. They're also working on the original creators and developers of this game, including the music composer, which is so important to the Silent Hill game experience. So this is going to be just fantastic. Now, of course, let's talk about easily the biggest pieces of news today without question, which is that there are officially at least two brand new Silent Hill games coming out. These announcements were when my jaw just hit the floor and I could not believe what I was seeing. If this was just an announcement of a Silent Hill 2 remake, it still would have been one of the greatest days ever. But they went so far above and beyond and they announced two new entries in the franchise, which says so much about the health of the series and Konami's commitment to this series and reviving it the proper way. You guys, it just can't, it cannot be overstated how big of a deal it is. Even one game, when I thought there was just one new game, I was losing my mind. And then when the, when the whole program ended with a second new game announcement, I just, I was almost at overload at this point. I couldn't even process what I was seeing. So the two games that are new games, and they're very mysterious, so there could be elements that might not turn out exactly like they seem on the surface, to be fair, but we're going to talk about them anyway and treat them as some kind of new game entries in the franchise, right? The first one is called Silent Hill Townfall, which is being developed by Annapurna Interactive, um, and it's also a game that featured very little information. They did say, the developers did say that they would tell us more next year, which is great. It definitely seemed to be just, it's a new game. It's Silent Hill Townfall, it's a new game. And it's common for Silent Hill games to either be, you know, numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4, but then there are also games that have a subtitle, like Silent Hill Downpour or Silent Hill Homecoming, stuff like that. So the name Townfall kind of has a feeling like it's maybe one of those games. Like, it's not in the numbered series, it's in it's in the other series that use subtitles within its title, you know? It's this weird combination, it's all the same universe, but there just is a separate sort of naming scheme to a lot of the games within the franchise. And I do have to say, they did say, go back and check the trailer and see if you could find some secrets. The only thing I saw on my one viewing is we're looking at that uh, little like mini radio like with a TV screen on it. And I swear I saw some footage of a hallway and a door that reminded me of PT. That doesn't necessarily have to mean anything. Maybe it's a coincidence and I'm just, you know, picking something out of nowhere. I just wanted to point out that it was something I noticed when watching it. And then when he said, go back and watch it for secrets, I was like, maybe they're hinting that Silent Hill Townfall is going to be the revived, reimagined concept of PT. Like, that would be crazy. So there's some kind of a new game. Hopefully it doesn't turn out to be something stupid. I hope it's a real new Silent Hill game. 
And then they ended with a very exciting trailer for what is definitely a new huge entry in the franchise called Silent Hill F. Boy, is that mysterious. It showed some weird girl getting covered in like flowers and plants and she almost looked like a, one of the clickers from The Last of Us or something weird going on. And she's bowing in front of a tree on like a foggy lake or something. I've only seen it once. I'm recording this literally right after watching. So forgive me if I'm not remembering every tiny detail. You're going to be watching footage of all this as I talk anyway. Um, and so that, because they ended it in that way and because the production value of that trailer was so strong... I think that that's really making the claim that that's the the biggest of the new entries in the franchise. There's Silent Hill Townfall, which maybe it's going to be like a homecoming kind of game. And then Silent Hill F might almost operate as more of like a Silent Hill 5? Just theorizing? It's it's 20 minutes old in my brain. So, you know, if, if we know more by the time you see this and I'm just getting it wrong, don't judge me because it's fresh information. But... This is just huge, huge news. They also talked about something called Silent Hill Ascension, and I won't lie, I'm a little confused on what that was. So I think that might also be another new game, but could it be? That just seems very strange. What, they have three new games being made at the same time they're also making a remake game? I guess it's possible, and I guess I'm excited to see what it is, but that one gave me the feeling of like a mobile game. I don't really have anything to confirm that. I'm just going based off of how it felt as I watched this presentation. I might be, you know, getting things wrong between what Townfall is going to be and what Ascension is going to be. So who knows? Again, I'm just theorizing with a fresh presentation in my brain. So I just wanted to bring it up. I don't know what that is yet. If it's a third new game that's like a real entry in the, in the Silent Hill franchise, then... It's just even more exciting than it already is. And of course, the other important thing to talk about is that there is a new Silent Hill movie coming out called Return to Silent Hill, and they are bringing back the original director of the first movie in 2006, which is great news for so many reasons. One, I love Silent Hill. Two, I love movies and horror movies. Three, the Silent Hill movie is my favorite video game movie of all time. It's incredible, and it still holds up to this day. So you're making what is effectively maybe like a different sequel to that game than the uh, other sequel. What was it called? Silent Hill Redemption or something that was just really bad. Uh, maybe they're going to ignore that one and make this a different kind of sequel. I don't know. It's going to be set 15 years later. Clearly one of the characters returns to this town to find their lost love. They're trying to make this one echo Silent Hill 2, the game's story, a little bit more closely. And it's extremely exciting because, again... I loved the first movie, and I do want to point out, if I was if I was reading it correctly from the interviews that some of the filmmaker and the producer were talking about, I it kind of sounds like the way this whole Silent Hill revival started, and maybe this is wrong too. Again, I'm just speaking off the cuff here, so forgive me if I get stuff wrong. But what I remembered thinking as I was listening to their interviews here is it sounded like the Silent Hill revival started with the concept of these guys, the director, approaching Konami about, hey, I want to make a new Silent Hill movie. I want to make a sequel to that movie I made back in 2006. And apparently Konami was 100% on board. And then some other interviews sprinkled throughout this presentation, I think they basically said that because we liked the idea of doing a movie, we thought it was a great time to continue to revive the games at the same time so that it all became one massive Silent Hill renaissance between we're going to start with making a movie and from there we're going to start to revive a couple of Silent Hill video game projects and just make it all one big Silent Hill renaissance. I really think all of this started with the idea of making a new Silent Hill movie. And then Konami, the company that has been so stupid for the past 10 years, suddenly decided to be not stupid and say, if we're going to make a movie, why don't we make a bunch of games? They could have made one game to accompany the movie and it would have been huge earth shattering news. But now they're remaking a game and they've got a couple of other new games and a big main entry coming and just Silent Hill is back in the most insane, impressive way. And as I said at the beginning, it's one of my favorite franchises. I'm excited for everything I heard today. It's all going to be great. And so let's give it up for the return of Silent Hill.